So guys, that's really the last video for today <laughs> and I'm still very tired. So, but yeah, let's, let's try to see how we can fix the overlay state for the pistol pulse. So as we see, it's yeah, perfectly constrained to the right hand one. That's not something how ALS works. And what we can do is the following is if we go to mannequins animations and here we have already in, or I've already created a folder which is called editors and we create a new blueprint class and search for shelled, shelled object editor use this as a base select that's something from TT toolbox as well say bp underscore ue5 many held object editor base open this one set here skeleton mesh set this for mannequin S uh, skm mannequin so we compile save everything and also what we do as well is if we close this again we do a right click again create child blueprint class and we say here ue5 many 1h pistol balls there's a typo pistol balls and we can set so far i remember also a name so text oh no that's not there then it's also fine we can search here for held object skeleton mesh and search for m9 we can search for 1h 1H pistol balls, UE5 many, and we need to use the animations which is called poses. That's the one that's used in overlay states, and as you see, we have here a lot of curves which are correctly retargeted now. And if we yeah, store this one into our level, we can also select this one. I'm I'm liking to move them here. So how can we use this tool now? So what we can do is setting the bone name and so on, and we can yeah, move around the held object basically. Uh, I'm using most of the time a frame where I have straight arms or, or so to get a good estimate basically. So here's frame four. And then we click here on this held object scene component and we can move around this pistol here. So something like that. Sure, you can disable the grid, then it's way better and way more precise. I'm already having some values, so I will just move on a little bit faster and getting those values. So you can basically store them in the clipboard as well. So I'm he here I'm having the location, also share this in the link of the video. And we can do here on click on paste. Same for this one, we can click here on paste. So it's for the rotation, it's here. Click on paste and then we should have a proper location. So let's see if we can apply this to this one. Mm, no, it's not working. Wait, oh, it's not working. So again, those locations, paste. I 
think I was wrong. I just need to apply relative. Yeah, that's what I did wrong. So now we can select all the frames and it should be fine, right? It looks quite good. We can use this. You could tweak it even further. The thing I did wrong is click again on get relative health object location. That's wrong. You need to click on apply if you change those values here. And then they are stored for every frame basically or estimated. And what we can do now is click on modify animation sequence. And if we browse to this animation sequence again, you will see that it's changed. So if we open it again, you will see if I stop playing the animation that those other bones are messed up now. So what we can do now is the following constraint in them again is if we click on scripted asset action, asset scripted asset actions, constrain bounds from data table, search for constrain bone and use constrain IK VB bones. Click on okay. And as you see, if you stop again, we should have now perfectly constrained bones again, save this animation and play the game. So yeah, the menu is still visible in the in the level, but yeah, it's only for getting the animations done, similar to control rig. And as we see, the placement of the held object, the pistol is where now very smooth. So it does not move at all, going to full screen. So all pauses seem to work. Even rolling works. Sprinting should also work. Jumping. So yeah, it's perfectly placed in the hand. That's basically how the health object editor works in TT Toolbox. That's from the open source project. I'm still working on a version with control rig, which I will hopefully publish soon on the marketplace. And then we can even do more things with it. This is very basic it's for the free version. So yeah, guys, I will now end the session here and really hope that you're still enjoying the series and wish you a very successful retargeting journey again. See you soon. Goodbye.